Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> My name is Ruta Shaw Gordon, and I am the Vice President for Internationalization, Intercultural Affairs, and Campus Life. And first of all, I want to say welcome. Welcome to Wagner. I've seen many of your faces this morning as you were moving in um, down the hill at Harborview. And so thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing Wagner and entrusting us to educate your students and to take care of them and help them grow as individuals and be successful. And we are looking forward to being partners with all of you, with the students, with the families, to ensure success. So let me tell you, um, first of all, I want to do a few thank yous. So let's um, thank all the students that were up at, I think they were up at 5.30, ready to go at 6. And so much enthusiasm. They were so excited and they're all volunteering their time. So we had the resident assistants. We had all these great peer leaders over here. We had tons of, we had probably another 70 student volunteers that are not RAs or peer leaders, but are part of clubs and organizations that said, I'm gonna cut my summer short, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna help these new students move in, and hopefully all of you will pay that forward when you're next year, and you will help the next class coming in. Um, and I would like to say a special thank you to two students who stayed all summer on campus to help plan, I think, an incredible orientation. So I'm going to ask them to step forward. We have Gabby Alapu and Anthony Perfidio. I hope the students will see that it will be a fun and engaging weekend. And so for all of you parents, I have a few, I was told you have to do three things with technology today, okay? If you haven't downloaded the Wagner app, it's available on the App Store for free. You should download it. It has lots of information, but the one thing also is it kind of tells you what every orientation, what's going on at any point. And we're also, we'd also like you to take, if you are on Facebook, go on and like Wagner Campus Life and Wagner College, and you'll see pictures from this weekend because we are tagging a ton of stuff that the students are doing and we're going to be posting pictures all weekend long so you'll be able to see what's going on and also if you are taking pictures and for the students especially if you will do hashtag Wagner Campus Life then we will post those pictures as well so we're looking forward to all of that so thank you guys very much for all the hard work and effort you have put in So a little bit about you guys as a class. There are 533 new students. 423 of you are first time, first year students. 36 are transfer students. 68 are second degree bachelor students. And six are visiting or exchange students who are here for a semester or a year. You represent 28 states in this incoming class. And all together we have 45 states that are represented in the student body. 57% of you are from outside of New York State. The top eight states that are uh, here are New York, New Jersey, California, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Massachusetts. We have 22 international students in this incoming class from 14 countries. Colombia, Canada, France, Germany, India, Korea, Mexico, Netherlands, South Africa, Taiwan, Trinidad, Turkey, Spain, and Sweden. And we have 40 countries that are represented at Wagner in the student body. We have five new students from Hawaii who have traveled over 4,880 miles to join the class of 2019. And the student that has traveled the furthest to come is an international student who's traveled 8,250 miles from Hillcrest, South Africa. Wow. 
so we are so excited to have all of you here and for the students and as I said our staff has worked diligently many of our students have worked diligently to create a orientation program that hopefully will help you transition to the first day of school and into the incoming weeks and so a lot of it is going to be getting to know each other getting to know your faculty learning our expectations of you learning about the campus and we're going to take you into Manhattan and so we just ask that you really ask questions, get involved, make sure that you're going to things because this is an important weekend and it, hopefully it will prepare you for the rest of your time here at Wagner. Now I'd like to take a moment and introduce our president, President Richard Garassi. He's been at Wagner for 19 years, five years as provost who uh, brought the Wagner plan, this comprehensive program that allows students to have three real good experiences that connect the curriculum to the uh, community and then he's been here 14 years as president and so it's been it's my honor to work with him and i'm so glad that he is here to welcome you thank you ruta this is a wonderful wonderful leader on our campus ruta shaw gordon we should give her a round of applause as well Welcome everyone. We picked a perfect day to be here. Uh, this is a, a wonderful journey you've embarked upon. Uh, the spirit of what you've seen with our peer leaders and RAs and volunteers is very much an accurate portrayal of our campus. This is an engaged campus. Uh, whether you have a shy personality or an extroverted personality or some hybrid in between, you will find that there are endless clubs and organizations that students have started, over 70. Uh, that finds a place for you to start your journey of being involved on campus and in the larger New York and particularly Staten Island community. So where are you exactly now? This building behind me, this wonderful building, was the first, not the first building on our campus, but it, was the, it is the iconic building that was built in 1928. We just renovated it to a tune of $17 million two years ago. And this building was the founding building really of the college. The college becomes a college in 1929. So we're relatively young, even though the date of the institution is 1883, we became a college in 1929. And we, became, we were at that time a Lutheran college. And so we had a spiritual purpose as well as a broad liberal arts perspective. And even though we ceased being Lutheran in 1970 and are quite open as an interdenominational, interfaith uh, institution and respect all faiths, including humanists, all of us in our own way on journeys to the same place, a good place, uh, we've kept that notion of civic responsibility and civic engagement and using our education to not only learn and grow and create lives of achievement and prosperity for ourselves, but to enhance the world around us in a very serious way. And as idealistic as that sounds, I can tell you our students are very heavily involved in the community around us and have worked with populations that are in need, not doing for them, but doing with them. Learning how to solve problems with them, how to identify educational opportunities for them, how to deal with health healthcare deficits, how to deal with immigration issues, how to deal with the use of the arts and the humanities in lifting the civic prosperity of a community, finding itself, its voice, its own history and memory. So there's so much going on here, both on campus and off campus. This is an but this is an institution that has a definite plan. We call it the Wagner Plan for the Practical Liberal Arts. This is not a place where you come and you just take the requisite number of courses, a couple of requirements, and move on and kind of figure out how it all fits together. Lots of institutions like that. This is an institution that cares deeply about its values and its history, but also its purpose. And it's a purpose of helping you find yourself to become a leader. And there are all kinds of ways of leading. There are quiet leaders who are good listeners, who everyone trusts and comes to, and they help lead by, by becoming the glue of organizations, of families, of neighborhoods, of institutions. Or they're the extroverted rhetorical leaders who inspire others through a different kind of leadership style. And there's so many types of leaders. But our goal for you is to think about taking your life quite seriously, as young as you might be at this moment, trying to figure out where am I and where the buildings are and did I make the right choice today and do I have the right roommate and all that sort of stuff. Our goal is to get you to stop for a second here in the next couple of days and think about taking control of your education. So I always like to start backwards. 
Let's pretend we're out here, as you will be in four years, on the Oval, graduating. It's a glorious graduation with a big tented Oval. The bagpipes lead us, in, lead us in from the New York City Police Department. It's just a fabulous day. And on that day, I get to give a speech about who was this class that is graduating? What have they done? Not just in the aggregate, but individuals. What have they done? So I always want my students to think about what's it going to be like four years from now? What do you want to have achieved? Now, academically, personally, civically, and in terms of leadership, who do you want to become? Taking yourself seriously at this moment, good sense of humor, strong social relationships, that's a key part of the Wagner community, but also saying, I have to find a path so that I leave an imprint in the world around me, that I become the kind of person that I'll be proud of, that I want to have self-respect, that I want to have a sense of self-esteem and full of knowledge and purpose and, and vigor when I leave here. So I want you to think about that as broad as it sounds, that you're now on a new part of your life, semi-detached from your parents, not completely, um, but at this moment where you say, okay, I'm now a bit on my own here, and I have plenty of help. You'll find a faculty that is remarkably committed to students. As good as scholars as they are, they're even better teachers and leaders. You're at a place that will challenge you, but also support you. The one thing we know at Wagner is what makes the difference in terms of success is that somebody tells you in this journey here at Wagner that they believe in your dreams, that they believe in you, that they're there to make sure that you get to achieve the things that you aspire to become. And that's critical. That's who we are. That's the Wagner plan in its broadest sense. It's full of learning communities and cohort learning and pre-professional and civic learning, engaged learning in the community, also in your own professions. It emphasizes its relationship, deep relationship to New York City. It's a lovely place. These students are absolutely fabulous young people. I've been in higher education for over 40 years in a number of places, and I can tell you, though, the last 18 of my life here, I've met some of the most remarkable young people who inspire me every day because I just love their enthusiasm and their commitment to one another and to the school itself. So thank you for choosing us. I'm so happy we chose you. I'll tell you something that my staff hates that I say on this day, but I love it. If you can spell my last name, I'm not sure I still can spell my last name, but if you could spell Garasi, G-U-A-R-A-C-I, I am Garasi at Wagner.edu. You always have access to me. You'll see me on campus. You'll see me in the dining hall. You'll see me at activities. Um, but parents, students, friends, always, I, always, I don't have multiple email accounts. I have only one email account. I don't erase anything, so <laughs> we're past that. But you, I'm not probably the best person to start with because you want to learn how to take care of yourself here. And use the access of the RAs, the peer leaders, the resident staff, uh, all the deans and so on and so forth, your faculty members, your faculty members in your learning communities who are your advisors. You want to use all the resources, your, your upper class peers and the like. But you always know that the president is behind you, that you can have access to me. I'll always email you back within 24 hours, usually within an hour or two, and say thank you for the note. Here's what I think we can do. Here's what I think we can't do. I don't know what we can do. Here's who I'm sending it to. Look at the CC level. Keep me posted on how we're making progress on this issue that you have. That's the nature of who we are. We want to challenge our students, but we deeply care about you. So I'm so pleased that you're here. I'll see you throughout the weekend. Thank you very much. My pleasure to introduce, we don't have many speakers, just a few. And then I hope we have food somewhere along the way here. I'm Italian, you have to have food somewhere along the way here. My, uh, my great pleasure to introduce one of the remarkable leaders in higher education nationally and certainly on our campus is our provost, Dr. Lily McNair. Dr. McNair is a graduate of Princeton University and has her PhD from uh, Stony Brook, is a clinical psychologist, has been a wonderful educator at a number of different institutions. We're so fortunate she's our leader of our academic programs and the second in charge of the university, Dr. Lily McNair. Thank you. I am so happy to welcome the class of 2019 to Wagner College on this beautifully glorious day. 
like to give the class of 2019 a big round of applause. Yes, Wagner is a very special place as Vice President Shaw Gordon and President Garassi have already indicated, we are a place that prepares young people to be leaders in the world around them. We aspire to provide a climate, an atmosphere of great integrity and intentionality to support you through your four years of education at Wagner College. Why integrity and intentionality? Why are those two words so important and so central to what we do here at Wagner College? It is because we know that you are fine young people who come here with aspirations to make a difference in the world around you. You know that through the Wagner Plan, where you will be engaged in active learning through which you will apply knowledge that you've gained in the classroom to apply to real world situations that you are going to use the highest levels of ethics and principled learning to interact with others and to make, become change agents. Education is not only about uplifting yourself, though that is very central and of course quite significant, but it's also about uplifting yourself and becoming an open-minded person who's able to become a fully participatory member of our democracy to make a difference in the world around us. So to have integrity and to make decisions and engage in efforts with great intentionality about the positive outcomes and change you wish to see is critically important. We strive to provide a climate both in the classroom and outside of the classroom that supports you in doing just that. You'll be hearing more detail about the Wagner Plan for the Practical Liberal Arts from our Dean Patricia Tooker. But I'd just like to give you a little bit of a sense of what we mean by providing this climate for you. We're a community of communities. We talk about our learning communities within the Wagner Plan, the freshman learning community, the intermediate learning community, and the senior community. We talk about the community that is very evident and vibrant in the residence halls, where you live side by side with your peers and with RAs and peer leaders who are there to support you and talk you through and give you advice and feedback about your growth, about your academics, about your co-curricular activities. We're a community of faculty and staff who are committed to helping you to grow, who are committed to mentoring you, who are committed to advising you. We know that one of the most potent predictors of success once someone graduates is having someone who believes in them as a mentor, as an advisor, as a professor, as a friend, as a staff person. We are that kind of a community for you. We're happy you chose Wagner College because we're thrilled that you're going to be here and contribute as the members of the class of 2019. And as President Garassi said, we look forward to that day when we will be on this oval, under a tent, but a tent under a glorious blue sky, to welcome you to the ranks of Wagner alums and to say, job well done. We're thrilled that you're here Capture the moment, make the most of your orientation weekend, and please don't be shy about grabbing us and saying hello, can we talk, can I have a minute, or emailing us if you need anything. That goes for parents, family members, as well as you students. Welcome to Wagner College. I'd like to now introduce to you another wonderful leader and member of our team, Dean Patricia Tooker. Dean Tooker is Dean of Integrated Learning and Associate Professor in the, in the Evelyn Spiro School of Nursing. Please come forward, Dean Tooker.
Thank you, Dr. McNair. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wagner. I am so happy to see so many of you. I am so happy that you chose Wagner, and I can hands down assure you that you have chosen the best institution for the education that you're planning to embark on. I'll be very brief because so much of what I could share has been shared already by my two great leaders, Dr. Garassi and Dr. McNair. I've been at Wagner for 17 years, and I was in the healthcare industry for 20 prior to coming here to higher ed. With a distinct background in healthcare, I taught in the School of Nursing, and I still teach in the School of Nursing as best as I can. And now I am the Dean of Integrated Learning, overseeing the Wagner plan. My main day-to-day -day responsibilities is keeping that Wagner plan up to date, innovative, exciting, creative, and having my faculty offer courses that you are interested in being in. Each and every first year student will be in a first year learning community beginning tomorrow when you get to meet the faculty members in your learning community and have a very brief orientation to what those classes will be like. Three of your four classes this semester will be all together with faculty in this first year program. It is a nationally recognized program that we are so proud of. We know the results are wonderful. You will transition safely and smoothly. And in a few years after the first year program, a year or so, you'll be in a second learning community that you will choose two different faculty, two different curriculum courses from disciplines that will be interdisciplinary. And then senior year, in your major of choice, you will be doing your senior learning community. I have wonderful faculty leaders that oversee these three programs. We work together along with some of the folks from career and academic um, advisement to make sure that these offerings are exactly what you will need for your education and your major. So let me assure you once again, after 17 years of being in this wonderful institution, as a faculty member and now a leader, this is the place to be. Welcome. So we have one more speaker. You've heard from all of us as people who work at Wagner. Now it's important that you hear from a student at Wagner. So I'd like to introduce to all of you Dylan Quinn, who is the president of SGA, our Student Government Association. He's a junior from Chaska, Minnesota. He is a business administration major with a marketing concentration and he has so many qualities of an outstanding leader. He is thoughtful, he is caring, he is smart, he's outgoing, he looks to better himself by getting involved in lots of things and he looks at ways to make sure that the experience here for Wagner students is better. And he's always advocating and so it is my pleasure and honor to introduce Dylan Quinn. Good afternoon, everyone, families and new students of Wagner College. As uh, Vice President Ruta Shaw Gordon said, my name is Dylan Quinn, and I'm the president of the Student Government Association here at Wagner. And on behalf of the student body, I want to welcome you to Wagner College. The Student Government Association is the official representation of the students of our college. We are here to advocate for you not only on campus, but also in the community. Two years ago, I was sitting in the same seats that you are all sitting in today, feeling anxious and waiting to hear the words that would inspire me over the course of my academic career at Wagner. And you may not hear those words today, or you may have, but over the next few days and into the first few weeks of classes, you will be introduced to an abundance of resources. Take advantage of them. It will be overwhelming and you may not even know where to start. But always remember that there are plenty of people on campus dedicated to your ongoing success. Step outside of your comfort zone and try new things. Reach out to the other students on campus with your thoughts and questions. The members of our community are not here to judge you, they are here to support you. 
I want to leave you all with a few words by comedian Amy Poehler, which have inspired me during my time at Wagner. Find a group of people who challenge and inspire you. Spend a lot of time with them, and it will change your life. Wagner Class of 2019, your story starts here. It's your time. Capture the moment. Thank you, Dylan. So, uh, two quick things. One is that we would. Uh oh, wrong folder. <laughs> One is that we have some, we're gonna have some paper and envelopes and pens here uh, on stage. And so as you're having some food, you're talking, we'd love for families, brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents, to write a note to your student and to put it in an envelope with their name and with either their address if you know it or um, just their learning community or just their name is fine. And over the course of the weekend, we will deliver it to them so that they know what your hopes and dreams are for them while they're here. So that's one thing. And the second thing is that we have eight students who are celebrating birthdays over the course of this weekend. Three of them are today. So we'd like to invite those eight students up and then we're going to sing happy birthday. <laughs> Kevin Atwater, Brendan Lebert, Victoria Stroud, Elton Bokia, Vincent Salerno, Corey Heitler, Dimitri Alexander, and Heidi Tanhauser. Come on up. You guys come up. I'm here. <laughs> Come on up. I'm not falling through. Oh my god. Hi. Hello. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Happy birthday. These are all birthdays. Hi. Happy birthday. Hi. Happy birthday. Hi. You guys can sit. Right yeah. Come on over. Come on. There's plenty of space. Here you go. Alright. Ready everybody? Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll have the papers up here if you want to write a note. And we have food in the back. Please enjoy. And you are free to mingle until 4 o'clock, where we will then start to have our learning communities meet their peer leaders. Thank you.